It's all a bit different for Constance this year. She's in a different setting. She's um, away from her usual little house, looking after Bonacieux, and she's now confidant of Queenie, which means I get to go to all these beautiful locations, which I didn't get to go to last year. That job was suggested to the Queen by D'Artagnan that it should be Constance. Her relationship with D'Artagnan is still bubbling. Obviously, they're in love with each other, but they can't be together. Their relationship is a bit off at the beginning because obviously she's told him that she can't be with him. He's obviously a bit sore about that. He gets her this job in the palace. She thinks he's interfering, but you know, it works out that they can see each other more and their relationship starts to grow again. Constance realises that it's silly, of course. She loves him, she doesn't care what the consequences are. I think what I love the most about her is her, her bravery and her willingness to kind of stand up to what she believes is right and not what society believes is right. And she has such passion and she's a lot braver than I am. And she's ballsy and she's got guts, and, but she's so vulnerable as well. I think what the fans will get from this new series, it's going to be a bit more raunchy. Constance is going to be a bit more pretty. <laughs> going to have a bit more hair. Everyone's got a bit more hair. I don't think the fans will be let down in terms of Constance and D'Artagnan's relationship. They're just going to get that little bit more, this series. Yeah, I think it's just going to go that little bit further.